A once peaceful continent has turned into a battleground. Islamic terror across Europe. Could this be a preview of what's ahead for America? Former New York Police Commissioner Bill Bratton said recently that European-style terror attacks are coming to the U.S. Islam expert Robert Spencer agrees. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. The fact is that everywhere that large numbers of Muslims settle, there is conflict. Because, he says, the violence flows from the Quran. The Quran says, when you meet the unbelievers, strike the next. So uh, the Islamic State does these beheading videos and the world is horrified. But it's right in the Quran, chapter 47, verse 4. The fact that something is in the Quran doesn't mean that all Muslims are going to do it, but it does mean that some are. There is no doubt this kind of thing is going to happen in the United States once Muslims are here in sufficient numbers. And with it comes political enforcement by the left, targeting those who oppose uncontrolled Muslim immigration, either with a racist label, protest, or even violence. Americans are used to other nations following them. But when it comes to Muslim refugees and political correctness and speech oppression, Europe's reality could be America's future. The most important thing for Americans is stop thinking that you're safe and we're in trouble. In Paris, American writer Nidra Pollard says when she emigrated to France 44 years ago, France felt safer than America. Not anymore. We're not allowed to have ethnic statistics, but people know where that violence is coming from. Here we have a huge Muslim population that includes fine people who came here to live in freedom and thugs and Islamists. They use the thugs to weaken our democracy. After the thugs terrorize people, then they say you're Islamophobe. Sweden, a nation with a smaller population than North Carolina, now has several thousand Muslim extremists. Sweden also faces a fiscal crisis because it has accepted so many Muslim migrants. Swedish citizens are literally paying to host terrorists. It could be that our politicians are so stupid that they don't understand what will happen when you bring in a lot of people from, from a totally different culture. Could be, but I don't believe that anymore. I mean, it's not just this government. This has been going on for 30, 40 years. What's more likely is that Swedish leaders don't care. One former prime minister said Swedish culture wasn't worth preserving. There are many Muslims who come to the West to join democracy, integrate with society, and live in peace. But there are also troubling signs, like a poll in Britain last year that showed that two-thirds of British Muslims would not tell police about extremists. This was supposed to be a big peace march by German Muslims last week to show their opposition to terrorism. It flopped. Not only was it small, but if most of these peace demonstrators don't look Muslim, it's because they're not. Spencer says some Muslims come as colonizers to Islamize the West. That's in the Quran too. Chapter 4, verse 100 of the Quran promises great rewards to those who emigrate in the cause of Allah and die in the new land. Spencer was poisoned last month on a speaking tour in Iceland, confirmed by a medical exam. He believes it was done by leftists who protested his visit. Left-wing violence against conservatives has also migrated from Europe to the United States, especially with the election of President Trump. The group Antifa, or Anti-Fascist Action, is a European creation. Street battles like the ones involving Trump supporters and leftists happened first in Europe. In 1968, British Parliament member Enoch Powell was sacked after he famously predicted that mass immigration from the non-Western world would someday lead to rivers of blood. Spencer warns that river is flowing to America. This has happened everywhere Muslims have gone. Why do we think we will be exempt? Why do we think we will be different? The Islam that is taught in American mosques is exactly the same as the Islam that is taught in mosques in Europe and in mosques in the Middle East. It's the same Quran, the same Muhammad, the same Islam. And so the same things will happen here that have happened everywhere else in the world.